Right, welcome to another video. Today, we've decided to come over to Quail Island. I've never been here before myself, um, neither has my wife, so it's a new experience for both of us. We picked a good day, a bit of cloud round, but it's um, nice and warm. And um, we've just got off the boat, and if you can see that cloud formation up there, it's quite cool. Cloud lead, like leading lines coming in through the harbour. But uh, we've got about five hours over here on the island, and um, you can see by the, the board here, we've come in on the, the ferry here, of the jetty, and uh, we're going to have an explore around, there's um, shipwrecks around this side of the island, so we're going to have a look around there, the island track, about two and a half hours, so we'll have a look. We've got a bit of food and drink with us because there's no other facilities here other than a bit of drinking water and some toilets. But uh, yeah, we'll um, carry on down the track and see what we can see if we can see some of these uh, shipwrecks that um, are on the island because it's we, we picked a time when it was low tide around lunchtime, so uh, it should be perfect for viewing these shipwrecks. So, what's left of them anyway? So, yeah, we'll carry on. So, we come up to the barracks, and they've got toilets in one end of it. I'm not sure what's uh, what's in the other end, but um, you've got men's and ladies because they did say there was a toilet block here. The toilets on the island. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's in the other end of this, whether it's all empty or what. We have another map here. The caretaker's cottage is now available for overnight stays. That would be cool. That would be awesome to do a sunrise from here. So there's the caretaker's cottage. And north is that way. So the sun coming up over, over this way. The caretaker's cottage, sunrise coming up through the harbour would be quite cool. But we're going to go around here to ship's graveyard and round back. And what's on this end of it? See, so this was a leprosy colony. As you can see by the end. New Zealand's only leprosy colony. And I would imagine they would have been. Like. Quarantine barracks. Yeah, for, for, lep, for the lepers. So this would have been the barracks that the lepers stayed in when they brought over here. Would have been a cold, cold place. Immigration quarantine barracks. These barracks were built in 1874 to isolate immigrant families who had contact with infectious and or contagious diseases on their voyage. However, they were only ever used for single men from 19, 1875 to the last lone smallpox victim in 1910. In December 1879, the building became a sanatorium for children from the Littleton Orphanage. It was also used during the 1918 Spanish influenza epidemic. More recently, Navy League Sea Cadets from 1943 to 51 and Christchurch schools on outdoor education camps have used the building. In 1997, the Department of Conservation restored the barracks and reconstructed one of the family rooms. But yeah, interesting to note what um, what was on this island. Three wetters, New Zealand quail. That's what this island was named for, is the quail that um, 
quail that used to live on the island here, um, but no longer, no longer living here. From what I've uh, what I've read, there's no more quail on the island. Listen to that, it's so peaceful, it's so damn peaceful. That's what I like coming out of places like this. It's um, so quiet. Get away from all the city sounds and uh, somebody walking behind that camera making it shake whoa <laughs> but let's have a look at the map here 3d map of the island so that's where we come in on the jetty and walked around to the barracks around here so we're still going to go around here to the ship's graveyard around here so we should carry on and uh, see what else we can explore around here. Nice little bay for swimmers. A little muddy down there at, at the, this end of it though. <coughs> but the other end where the barracks are would be alright. And you see, I don't know if you can see that down there. It's a little muddy down at this end of the beach. But at the other end, where the barracks are, over there, see them? Should be about better for swimming. see from that shot we've come around to where the shipwrecks are and I can see one two three four five six seven there's one there one there there two down here and I think there's one just around here and because there is one there as well On the ferry over here there were three other people that come over to the island. They've come around the opposite way to what we have and they said there is a trackway down there but it's pretty slippery so we'll see. Um, see if we can get down there. If not then this is going to be our only footage of it. So we'll carry on along the track and see what, um, what this other little track down there is like. <laughs> got to that part of the track where it deviates off down to the beach but I've had a little bit of a look and after talking to the three other people on there I think we're gonna give it a miss that's just a bit too sketchy for us to be going down there with all our camera gear and um, risking falling over and maybe injuring ourselves because like, there's nobody else on the island other than those three people and um, if we miss the ferry, we're stuck here all night. They haven't got our phone numbers, they don't know who we are. Um, so we shall just carry on. But uh, yeah, at least we've got some views and some photographs of these old shipwrecks. <laughs> It's interesting to see, but there are other parts to explore on this island, so we shall carry on and um, yeah, see what else we can film, photograph. So we've arrived at the caretaker's hut, caretaker's cottage I should say, and this is um, where you can stay overnight if you want to, which would be quite a good location for watching the sunrise just up the track here, looking out through the harbour, but uh, we'll spin around and have a look. So 
So we'll go down and have a look inside. So you got your kitchen, a good decent area for cooking. You got a a wood burner here for heating the place in the winter time. Table, chairs, and some accommod accommodation, some bunk beds in here. No lights, just candle power. And there's another lot of bunk beds in here. And females in one, males in the other if you want. We got two different groups. Be yeah, quite a nice little place to stay. So that's the caretaker's cottage, which was opened in November of last year, 2018. So yeah, quite good. What a cosy little place. And like I say, for sunrise, it would be awesome. Outside and barbecue table here. Yeah, as you can see, you can see over to over to Littleton from here, up the track up there, up on up there, would be quite a good place to watch the sunrise. So we're nearly all the way around the island now. We've only got about 15 minutes and walk back to the jetty and. We've got about two hours to fill in because you get about five hours on the island from when you um, arrive to when you get picked up. So, but uh, yeah, there's a little bit more to come. We'll get, so like I said, we'll go over the trackway, see where the dog huts were, back through the barracks, and back to the jetty. The so Quail Island has been a few different things. It's been a quarantine island leprosy colony it's been a farm and it's also been used for um, training sled dogs uh, for going down to Antarctica right we're back at Fokamaru Beach now where the barracks are just down here you can see them the little white building down there they are We've got a little bit of time to fill in. The boat doesn't, the ferry doesn't come in for another hour and a half yet. So we're just sort of mucking around here. But yeah, it's, um, it's a long time to be on the island. Unless you've got a little bit more to do. People come here sometimes just to go swimming. But uh, it's nice and peaceful anyway. So I hope you've all enjoyed this video. For anybody who hasn't been to the island, um, yeah, it's worth a visit. Um, especially if you want to see some of the shipwrecks that are around the other side, on the western side. There are a few there, but you want to try and time it at low tide so that you actually see them out of the water. Uh, we, we timed it for like low tide, middle of the day, um, weekday, and out of school holidays otherwise school holidays there might have been quite a lot more people here it's been an experience and uh, yeah tune in next time and see what else see what other adventures adventures we're up to so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one I've got this hand on my ass <laughs> Bloody bones <laughs> and the bum.